Hello, welcome to MJ Golf Guides and welcome to Bantry Bay Golf Club in County Cork, Ireland. This is part five of the series of course vlogs and today I'm going to be playing the 13th, the 14th and the 15th holes. Okay, so 13th hole is a par three, it's 117 yards to the green. I just pinged the flag and it's actually 135 and it's index 17. So over here is the green, you got a bunker in the right hand side, you got this pond in front. We've got the wind blowing from right to left. So let's see how we get on with this hole. Oh, just left slightly over the back a little bit. It's okay that we're chipping though. Okay, well I greatly overestimated that. Um, I've got quite a long little chip here, a lot of green to work with. So I'm just gonna play my seven iron down there again. Hopefully I can get it close to the hole somewhere. Sit, sit, sit. Oh wow, look at that go. Wow. So I actually thought I played that quite well, but it, it just got this little this little runoff area here. Um decided to take off down the hill and me. So again I've got quite a long little par put. A long little par put, no such thing really. Got a long par put. Oh, wow. Another good save. I'll take that. So the 14th hole is 347 yards. It's index seven, it's par four. And we gotta go over this hill up here uh, where we'll see the green then for the next shot. So I've just pinged, there's a telegraph pole up here. I've just pinged that and it's 277. So I'm gonna be basically taking that as my line because it's uphill. And it's gone a little bit more right than I wanted. I seem to be fading this thing today a lot, but uh, I think it's okay up there. Okay, so I ended up perfectly in the middle of the fairway again. You have these banks on both sides, which if you are a little bit offline, will kick you back in online. So it is uh, a nice fairway if you are a little bit offline, it does help you. So I've got 115 yards into the flag. Uh, I see a ridge in the middle of the green again, so it's like a two-tier, two-tier green again. And I've got my little 52 in my hand. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Is that in the front of the green or the back? So there it was, I tell you to stop. I, th I thought I saw it bouncing in the back, obviously I didn't. Um, I have left myself another really tough putt. Up the hill, up the slope. It seems to be falling massively from left to right as well. So if I can come anywhere near the hole with this, I'll be very, very happy. Yeah, I, I didn't allow enough for the break. <laughs> I mean, I gave that a good hard whack and I'm still this far short. I mean, I've got probably over over 10 foot. So, well, the second shot didn't deserve that anyway. You know, I didn't deserve it. An easy par. So let's see if I can make another par save. Unbelievable. What is happening today? I'm getting all of those ones, thankfully. Okay, so that was the last hole on the newer nine. 
of the course and now we're going back over across the road and we're going to play the remaining holes on the older nine of the course so just while i get ready for my tee shot on this hole what did i think about the newer nine how has it developed how has it matured since i was last year and it's beautiful it's really amazing condition of the course is brilliant um, i mean we're we're in the start of april and the course in immaculate condition um, the views are stunning from like the 8th the 9th the 10th the 11th all those holes have amazing views in in the course and the way the trees have come up the way the course has matured it's a great test there are some really tough holes out there and when the wind blows as you saw on some of the holes that i played it makes it very very difficult so let's get on to the 15th hole so the 15th hole is a par 4 315 yards index 13. Um, you have to hit up quite a bit of a hill um, just up towards there's a marker pole up here but if you're to the right hand side of that i believe that's the line that i'm going to be taking and um, i do remember there's, there was a tree down here if you're too far right which could block you for your second shot into the green but i'm just going to go a little bit right of that marker pole maybe around this line here I think that's okay it was a little bit right of the marker pole i would have preferred it to be a little more right but i think it uh i think it kicked down to the right okay so i'm perfect in the middle of the fairway here kick down and i've got 110 yards to the flag the green is below me a little bit looks absolutely flat cam on there let's see if i can get this on and give myself a very rare birdie chance Oh, that was so so lucky that landed short and it kicked forward onto the green actually ended up pretty good i'll take that okay so here i am ran on from the front of the green and um, i don't know in the winter is that soft maybe it wouldn't have ran on but today it did and i'm happy with that so let's see if i can capitalize got the main road just behind that's where you can hear all the traffic ah uh, stop yeah i read that wrong i thought there was a little break from right to left if anything it went slightly the other way let's try and tap this in for the pair there we go okay no harm done and that brings us to the end of part five of Banter Bay Golf Club. I've had some nice holes in this part. And the next part, we've got two really, really tough holes, really long part four, a really long part three, and then we have a part five to finish. So hope to see you then.